Good afternoon teachers. I am Arik Dash. I am going to start presenting on VIP of group 1. The name of our project is Automated Fire Extinguisher Robot. From spark ignition to a large devastating fire, we have all seen the horrifying scene fire has created over the years. A moment of carelessness or gas leakage are the main reason of fire ignition. Moreover, spark in the circuit board can have devastating effects. Here, we have come up with a budget-friendly idea that can be implemented to the industrial area as well as household areas to minimize the damage. The sole purpose of our project is to develop an automated fire extinguisher robot that can be implemented in industrial area and household areas. We have used an obstacle avoiding robot triggered by a Wi-Fi module that can go to the desired location and extinguish the fire. We followed certain steps to solve our goal. First, the sensor detects fire and sends signal to the base station. Then, base station sends signal to our robot via Wi-Fi module. After receiving the signal, the robot actuates, avoids, avoids obstacles and go to the desired position. Now my partner, Fahim, Fahim Muntasir, will continue from here. Assalamu alaikum, I am Fahim Muntasir. Now I will explain the later part. Our base station is laptop from which uh, signal will send to the Wi-Fi module. Uh, here is the picture of our base station graphical interface from where we can give command to the robot. When signal comes by Wi-Fi module, our robot will detect the signal and begin to move on and begin to move on and after putting off the fire base station send, send signal to fire off. We use ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which creates an URL and can access and control it through internet. It actually receives data from base station and activate our robot for extinguishing fire. Both the server and Wi-Fi module should be connected to the same Wi-Fi module. And now the later part will explain my another partner Ahmed Imtiaj. Hello, this is Ahmed Imtiaj. I will continue from here. The wheel control of the firebot was one of the most challenging tasks. Here we have used four DC motors for the wheels. We have used L298N motor driver for controlling the DC motors. That means the wheels. It can control both the direction and speed of the car. We have used 12 volt lithium polymer battery to feed the motor drivers. Here we can see the logics for controlling the voltages of the wheel motors for motion in different directions. For example, for forward direction, we have to keep the upper left motor voltage high, the lower left motor voltage low, and upper right motor voltage high and lower right motor voltage low. And the below's logics are given here. After controlling the wheels, we need to detect the fire. The, for that purpose, active low fire sensor have been used to sense the fire from the environment and direct its motion towards the flame. We have used three flame sensors in three different directions to detect flame. For avoiding obstacles, sonar has been used. The sonar module sends a sound wave and receives the reflected signal from the obstacle. Thus, the time delay between transmission and receive the sound wave is used to measure the distance. Now, my another partner, Fahim Faisal Prince, will continue from here. Hello, I am Fahim Faisal and I am going to continue from here. As MTH has described how a sonar works, now the question arises, how our car would know which direction to move? The sonar is now mounted on top of a servo motor, which is rotated in right and left direction to measure the distance in both sides. Then the sonar sends the distance data to our Arduino and the car moves to the side where the obstacle is the farthest. If a flame sensor detects fire, a pump will start spraying water on top of it. When the fire has been successfully extinguished, we can turn off the car by sending terminating signal from our base station. Here is the complete workflow of our project. When a fire is detected, the base station will send a signal to actuate the car. The car will start immediately and looking for fire. If fire is not detected, it will start checking for object. It will start check in both left and right direction and go to the direction where object is the farthest. While moving this way, if the car detects any fire, it will immediately stop and start spraying water on top of it. Here are a few drawbacks and probable upgrades. The random motion of the robot makes it difficult to pinpoint the exact fire location. The pump we used were not as powerful as we desired, so a more powerful pump can be used to spray water effectively. 
the sonar can be calibrated more precisely to have better performance. And the flame sensors we use, sometimes it, they had given erroneous outputs. Here are our team members. Thank you. Any queries are appreciated. Assalamu alaikum. This is the whole structure of our project. Here we have used a standard car chassis and four DC motors to control the wheels. Two on this side and two on the other side. A L298N motor driver is used to control the DC motor rotation, thus controlling the direction of the robot. A sonar is used for obstacle detection and calculating the distance of the object from the car. The sonar is mounted on a servo motor which is rotates from left to right. Three flame sensors are used to detect fire in different detection for precision. This is a Node MCU A2C6 module for Wi-Fi communication. We have used Arduino Uno board to drive our whole project. And to power the motor drivers, we have used a LiPo battery. This is a pot to hold the hot water and to spray the water, we used a pump inside. This is the experimental set of our project. When there is a fire inside this area, this base station will actuate the firefighting car. If I click put off fire, you can see that the car is moving. Also, when I press terminate, you can see that the car is not moving. The second feature of our fire firefighting board is avoiding obstacle. You can see there is an obstacle inside this area. When we will actuate the car, this car will try to avoid this obstacle. Now I am actuating this car from this base station. The car is moving and now it's trying to avoid the obstacle. It has successfully avoided the obstacle. The third feature of our car is extinguishing the fire. So we have put fire in front of our car and now we will actuate the car and see if the car can really extinguish the fire. Now we are actuating our firebox. It's throwing water. We have to combine all the features of our project and see if this works and uh, it works as a complete fire extinguishing system. Now we are actuating the firefighting board. It's throwing water to the fire. 